Hi Marilyn and welcome to my studio. I'm going to give you a private class on working with the sea turtle and working with the color burst. I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're gonna have a blast. Some of these things you have to do them quick. So make sure you have a tray to gather your embossing powders and you don't need to rush the drying, just the powders after you put your whip spackle. I don't have much left. Um, I guess my store has been depleted after I made this turtle, which is a good thing, but I order more. So I'll finish whatever I have. Hopefully, if, if even if we can make the full project, we can do part of it. I also wanted to show you the full thing because I didn't when I took the photo for um, for Facebook I didn't show the whole thing so here it's a double spread and they're mingling about I've had the experience of actually um, doing snorkeling with sea turtles and they graze on the bottom of the ocean and then they come up and get air and it's surreal. So let's start to work. You're going to start with your turtle first. Um, you can pretend that she's diving or she's coming up for air. You can put um, a half of it. It doesn't have to be full, so you play around with your turtles and you can use her however you want. The, the thing about this is I use my fingers and my fingers kind of let me know when my stencil is full and I don't know, I'm just used to my fingers, that's it. If you want to use a um, spatula, that's all right. I just, to me, it's quicker this way. So, once you have her covered, flip it up and pour your embossing powder. This is a very ancient one. That's why I sent you just a zip look. Be ready with your tray and catch it back and as you can see if you make a mistake this is the time to correct it because there's more on that stencil and I don't want it I just want the turtle so I have it ready I'm going to use my heat gun because I need to melt this before I go into anything else in my experience, no other brand um, bubbles and works better than Faber-Castell Sweep Spackle does. I just love the texture that it gives. Now you need to make your ocean and in order to make your ocean, you're going to have to do it in segments because the stencil is really big and you're not going to be able to pour the embossing powder before everything like kind of like dries because that's another thing that the whip spackle does it's it dries quick so now pretend you're in the ocean and think oh where would my turtle like to go would she like to go on the surface then you place your stencil and you're not gonna cover this, you're just going to give her some movement and here we go again, have that embossing powder ready because this is going to have to be quick. And you don't need a whole lot of whip spackle just a tiny bit because stencils are really thin so it's not like you need to use the whole bottle on it 
Now you don't need to cover the whole stencil because you're doing water and maybe you want this curve right here and maybe another curve here and you flip and you pour and you're quick about it. And of course you catch it up because you're not So whenever you get something like these kind of mistakes which are bound to happen, you just, this is still on the wet um, section. So nothing happens to the turtle. She's just hanging around under the sea, coming up for air and being just happy about her life underneath the ocean. You need to, in order to do the second part of the stencil, you need to dry this. And if we go back to the original uh, plan, you can see that I moved my stencil um, several ways. Because I'm thinking water movement and I wanted um, to have that kind of compelling uh, water fill and underwater currents that actually happen here in the Caribbean. So I can go back and find like, oh, maybe these swirls would be perfect. So you work with the swirls and give your water more movement. I think Dina Wackley was really inspired when she made this stencil. It's a really fun one and it conveys a sense of movement that I love. So see, that part needs now some embossing powder. And it's like a give and take and give and take and you need to melt every time in order to keep your waves a certain way because if you don't melt and you put your stencil over it you may ruin it and we don't want that right so continue placing your stencil to see where it flows like I know this will complete um, this section of the waters and its movement. And since this stencil is not like tiny detail, detail you don't need to run and get, um, get it clean like you would have to do with the turtle because the turtle is really detailed and you're gonna be you're gonna have to like clean it after the second use if you want to keep those um, fins perfect which is one of my best suggestions for you because that TCW stencil is the bomb it's like one of my faves ever So you see, this little spot here could now be the spot for the tiny turtle. I think it would be perfect and we'd be changing the way that the stencil is because, you know, it's your art. You can do whatever you want. And you can put more water or you can add more turtles. And this baby wants to be with her mama because it's almost Mother's Day and she doesn't want to be by herself. Have that powder ready. Don't be like me. And 
that sweet? Now you have a pair of turtles swimming around and I think we need some currents in this section so we're getting more water. So now you have your um, basic foundation and you're ready to start working with the watercolors. Now let's start doing some watercoloring. Um, the turtle, if you've seen photos of um, hawksbill turtles or careis as we call them here in the island, um, they have beautiful shades of um, browns like that's what they call the tortoise shell and that's what you see in jewelry and all of that so turtles are endangered species they're beautiful animals that grace the oceans and we need to keep our oceans that way we're going to give her um, I'm using watercolor confections and I'm using a watercolor brush this one is by Tim Holtz nobody pays me for all of this I'm just saying which are you know what best works for me since I've been doing this a long time this color is really saturated and since you already work with your um, embossing nothing is going to happen underneath or on the surface just you know your the paint is going to squirt in between your raised surface which is really cool and you know with watercolor brushes you squirt water and you get water all over the place and it's kind of neat because it helps you. you don't have to like wet your brush every time you need to add more watercolor and if, if you have an excess just keep a towel handy and blot whatever you think is an excess so you just need to cover um, with a nice brown, the surface of the shell.